told you we'd be back and I had a big surprise for you. Now I'm here with Sean Levert. He's going, hey, hey, Sean's in the house. Yeah, I'm dating <laughs> Ohio. How long have you, uh, is this like your first time here in Dayton? No, I've been here a few times with, with the Levert group. Okay. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know if I've been here with Gerald or not. Uh, on his solo thing. I don't know if we came here. But uh, I know we've been here with the with the group, LeBert. Okay. A couple so, times. So this isn't new to you? Oh, well, no. Nah. nah. Are we glad that you came back? I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure everybody's wondering. You got this new CD now. What did I do with that CD? And uh, it's called The Other Side. Mm -hmm. T tell us a little bit uh, about this new CD because you used to sing with LeVert mm -hmm. and now you're going solo. You're doing your own thing. Well, with this album, um, you know, a lot of people in the group, I was always like in the background a lot. So a lot of people didn't really know what I could do. They didn't know, if, you know, could Sean really sing, you know, or whatever. And, um, you know, with this album, people can, you know, they could just get a little bit of me in the group. Now they can, they can have all of me yeah. with this album. So, you know, it's, it's a, just a new adventure for me and just to branch out and do something a little different yeah. than being in the group. I, I read, um, your, all your thanks and appreciations in the end, and I can tell you had a whole lot of fun. And, <laughs> and you, <laughs> you were really excited about uh, doing it. And in that, I, I saw that you, you do have a family. Oh, yeah. Well, my, I have a little, I have a son and a daughter. Uh, my son, his little Sean. Uh, my daughter's name is Sharyan, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kind of a family man. <laughs> yeah, you're a family man. You just, I mean, music well, is your I'm career. For that, I'm still looking for that woman. Uh-oh, did y'all hear that? <laughs> we got an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taking no prisoners. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you tell us a little bit? I know um, with with your dad um, singing with the OJ's, and then mm -hmm. you were you were with Lavert. Um, I know that had some advantages for you coming from uh, a family where music was the business. Were there any disadvantages growing up to that? The only disadvantage with growing up with my father being one of the OJ's was as was me and my brother trying to do the same thing and being compared, you know, our group being compared to the OJ so much. Okay. Uh, that was like one of the biggest problems that we had was like going on the road with the OJs, and, you know, and we'd be doing our little show and all the girls would be out there, well, you know, he's not as good as his father and, yeah. you know, his, he can't do that thing like his daddy does. <laughs> and, you know, we used to hear that all the time until, you know, until we came into our own thing, you know, and everybody starts seeing that we can really work. Yeah. And um that was basically the only real disadvantage was trying to get out of trying to get out of that big shadow that we had. Yeah. But you know, but it's nothing wrong with it. Exactly. Because he's a my father and the OJs are one of the greatest groups that's ever done it. So to be compared to that is is a accomplishment. Yeah. Well, I see that, that Gerald did some backup for you on, on this CD. Oh, yeah. Well, he did, like, he did, like, what, about four songs wrote and produced, uh, him along with Tony Nicholas. Then I had Mark Gordon, who's the other member of the group, Levert. Yeah. He did uh, a few songs. And uh, Jermaine Dupree did, like, five songs, me and him. And um, working with Jermaine was, like, totally different than doing doing the Levert thing you know it gave me that younger fresher sound you know that old hip hop thing and you know we have fun you know Jermaine's a real cool guy yeah and we have fun working together yeah so, I mean really I could tell after re reading your, all your thanks and appreciation that you had a ball doing oh, yeah. this we had we had fun yeah. you know it was some I was just, just excited about singing more yeah. You know, usually on the Levert album, you just hear a little bit of me. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I get my little one verse or something. Yeah. But now, you know, I get to hear me on the whole CD, and it was just, you know, exciting. 
Yeah, I bet that felt good. Well, good. see, now that you're out in the limelight and you're doing your own thing and you're showing everybody what's on the other side, <laughs> do you realize that you're a role model and that, you know, being a part of, um, uh, in this business and, and, and being a celebrity that people look up to you, especially our young people today, and, and maybe there's someone out there saying, man, I want to be like him, I want to be like him. I mean, what... Um, does how does that make you feel and and what do you do if anything um not to lead them in the wrong direction it makes you feel good to you know to have you know the kids want to do the same thing and um you know to be in this business but you know what i would tell them is if if they really want to do this it's not as easy as it looks it's a lot of hard work that you have to put in and it's a lot of pressure and a lot of headaches and you're going to go through a lot and it's not you know just going out there getting the girls and getting the money all the time you know you got to sacrifice a lot to be in this and um i would just tell them that they you know the school is the best thing uh you know to stay in school and um to definitely stay away from them drugs yeah because you know it'll detour you a lot yeah. and um just and um you know if this is what you want to do then don't give up you yeah. know because it's going to be a lot of hard knocks but if you really want it it'll happen eventually yeah that that was great so what's what's going to be new for you after this this CD, the other side. You got some hits on it. Um, put put your body where your <laughs> mouth is. <laughs> After the, <laughs> well, see, everybody thinks put your body where your mouth is is a nasty song, <laughs> but it's it's not really nasty. It's it's a sensual song. <laughs> well, it, it didn't seem to be too graphic. It, the title is curious. Oh, it yeah. makes you want to know it's, it's, what, it's, what is he singing about. If you listen to the song, then you'll know. That it's just you know it's. It's just saying, do what you say you're going to do. Oh, is that? Now you heard it here, exclusive. Uh, it, that's said, really what all it means. I don't don't it. read into more than what right. it is. Do what you say you're going to do. Just, you know, uh. don't pull my leg. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you starting trouble. Uh. So what are you going to do after this? Are you going to stay solo or are you going to, you no, don't know? we're in the process of working on the Loretta album now. Oh. Okay. We're going to start probably in the next month or so. Okay, you just had to get out there and stretch and... and oh, yeah. And well, you know, it's something that we said that we would all do eventually, yeah. you know, just to branch out yeah. and, you know, just to see what what will happen. You know what? I think that's great that you guys, you know, are that close, that, that you support each other in whatever you do oh, and yeah. that uh, one isn't sitting back glaring at the other saying oh man you know maybe we shouldn't have did that look at him now I think that's that's really uh, great you know we we family before yeah. this before yeah. any music or any business you know we gonna always be family yeah. so it's you know nothing can can take that away yeah so you know we always gonna be family and um I, I, I'm happy to see my brother be successful and my father and who Mark, whoever else in my family, I'm just, you know, that makes me happy. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of, uh, sometimes the media, where well, we see it every day, kind of um, make the black man look, uh, there's always something negative about the black man mm -hmm. in the media. And, uh, you know, we just had the Million Man March. Right. Well, did that have any signif significance for you? or what, what did that mean to you? <clears throat> I think it was a great thing. Uh, if the people that were there will go back and do the things that were said for them to do, yeah. you know, if if they if they were just there just to be a part of it, just to say they were there, then it's not going to make any sense. Right. So you know, I think it would be a great thing if all the brothers that were there would come back home and assert assert themselves, like you know, like was taught. Yeah. Uh, what was said by um, boy, I can't by Farrakhan. Yeah, well, hey, everybody <laughs> was you, there. Yeah, Jesse I mean, yeah, well, you know, all that. Right if there. they if they were there to listen mm -hmm. and to bring it, if they're gonna bring it back home, then I think it was a great thing. Yeah. But if 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 they were just there, just just to say they were there, you know, it was, it, 
It's not a comment or nothing. I hope you guys heard that because you really need to hear that. That was great. You gave a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you doing here at MJM Fox? You're going to be... I'll be performing tomorrow here. So. Yeah, but tonight you're going to be doing something oh, else. I'm judging a challenge show. Oh, the karaoke contest. Yeah, we, yeah. we're going to see who's karaoke -ing. Well, see, you guys got to come out to MJM Fox because you never know if you get brave enough to get up there and do your thing on karaoke. You could get judged by somebody like your man here, Mr. Hey. Mr. LaVert. Hey, Thanks hey. a lot. Thank you. Thank you. See you around. Sure.